In this lecture, we will learn the basics of navigating and working in the Unity Editor. If you have used Unity before and are familiar with the editor, you can skip this video. If you are totally unfamiliar with the program, then this video will help you out. There are seven menus at the top of the Unity Editor. File, Edit, Assets, Game Object, Component, Window, and Help. On the left of the program is the hierarchy. In the middle of the program is the Editor window. There are three tabs, the Scene tab, the Game tab, and the Asset Store tab. On the right is the Inspector. At the bottom of the program are the Project and Console tabs. The hierarchy is where we can arrange game objects in the scene. When we select a game object in the hierarchy, its components are revealed in the Inspector. In the Project window are the game assets that are currently in our project. If we click the console tab, we will see the console window. This is where Unity logs information when we are running our game, if we have any messages, warnings, or errors. The overall thing that we are working in is called a project. A scene is basically a smaller piece of the project, or one level in the game. When working in Unity, we will add game objects to a scene to assemble the world that the player will interact with when they play the game. Code files in Unity are called scripts. We add scripts to game objects to give them functionality. Scripts in Unity are written in c -sharp code. To run the game when we want to test it, we can click the play button towards the top of the program. If we want to pause the game when it is running, we can click the pause button. Note that while you are in play mode, the mode entered after you click the play button, any changes you make are not saved, even if you click the pause button. To exit play mode and be able to save the changes that you make, you can click the play button again. To save the scene we are in when we make changes, we can either go to File, Save, or click Ctrl S on Windows or Command S on Mac. Note that you need to manually save your changes when working in Unity. It does not auto-save your changes. Also note that I will be periodically saving the changes we make during the videos, and I ask that you please do the same, so that you don't lose any work as we move through the project. In the next lecture, we will look at an overview of the car racing game project we will build in this course.